Matt Faulkner, BBC Somerset. Good afternoon. We've been talking about improvements on the A303 in Somerset for, well, years now. The Conservative MP for Wells, James Heapy, says he's confident work will begin in the not-too-distant future. He, along with the Taunton Dean MP Rebecca Powell and other South West MPs, has been to a meeting with the Roads Minister, John Hayes, and he's been telling me what they discussed. More than anything, we were worried about the progress uh, for the A303 and 358 um, project it's hugely important to Somerset that that gets done as soon as possible. Uh, so we wanted to look the minister in the eye and confirm with him that the money was secure and that there were going to be spades in the ground by the end of the decade. And also to tackle rumours that had emerged about, um, about an alternative route connecting Ilminster on the A303 to the M5. And, uh, and we were very concerned that if that alternative route were to get any real traction, that it would effectively bypass Somerset, which would be a disaster for our county. Where, so, where did that come from? That, that, uh, I know you sort of rumours, rumblings, that sort of thing. But where, where did that all come from? Because that was never on the agenda, was it? No, it never was. And I can tell you that Rebecca Powell was incandescent. It was utterly terrifying. If I had been the roads minister, I, minister, I would have uh, capitulated immediately. Um, I believe that where it's come from is that Highways England say that they have an obligation to sort of manufacture alternatives in order to be seen to sort of go through the process of choosing one route over another. Um, we are deeply concerned because we we know that the um, suggestion is that that alternative route from Ilminster across to the M5 would be, would be cheaper. But fundamentally, the, the, the point of the A358 uh, improvement was part of Somerset's infrastructure development. There's the east-west infrastructure in our county is very poor indeed. And the A358 was an important part of sorting that. So we fought um, very hard indeed, Rebecca particularly, it was magnificent, uh, and I'm pretty sure that we have, um, we've put an end to those sorts of discussions. So the minister ruled that out, did he? Uh, when he came out from behind the table after thinking Rebecca was going to jump on him, he, uh, he directed his civil servants that uh, they should understand the importance of making sure that Taunton was connected. Hugely important to our county, to my constituency, to Rebecca's, to David, Marcus's and Ian's, that actually this, this second route into the southwest, it's not just about getting people down to Plymouth, Devon, Cornwall um, more quickly. It's about improving the infrastructure for Somerset and helping to grow our economy as well. So, so is there a date then? I think that's what we're all... Because it seems that the issue's being fudged slightly if they don't actually say this is the date. We will get this, the spades in the ground, as you put it. Yeah, I mean, we are... I think we have um, pretty much got agreement that spades go in the ground um, on, 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 on a stretch of it by the end of the decade. One of the things that we have been collectively arguing for, and in the room that afternoon, were, that morning, sorry, were people from Wiltshire, Somerset, Devon, Cornwall... Um, you know, we shouldn't wait for permissions to be in place to do the whole route in one go. Clearly, Stonehenge, for example, is going to be the most challenging bit of it all. What we should do is just get on with each stretch of road as and when we're able to do so. And the, um, you know, the, the, the stretch around Sparkford is an obvious place where you could start pretty quickly because it's much less constrained than elsewhere. You've also raised the, the issue of roads in the Mendips. What's wrong with them? Well, the, the problem for um, the Mendips is that it is we risk becoming the rock in the stream with the A303 moving very, very quickly to our south, the M4, M5 moving very quickly to our north and west. And if you look at the economic development plan for Devon and Somerset, the primary growth zones are on the M5 and on the A303. That's what you would expect to see. But the secondary growth zones are North Devon, and Mendip. Now, North Devon has had committed to it a North Devon relief road, uh, and Devon County Council have secured money for that. But it is glaringly absent that there, that there is not a um, similar proposal for an improved connection from the M5 into Mendip. And so I have made some progress in the last year in discussing with ministers the value in improving the A39 and A361 in from Junction 23 of the M5, past Ashcott, Walton, and the bottom of Glastonbury Tor, in order to get traffic from the M5 
into Glastonbury Street, Wells, Shepton, and on to Froome uh, more easily. And the great news from the meeting on um, Wednesday morning is that the feasibility for, of that will now be looked at. And, uh, and so we've got our foot on the first rung of the ladder to sorting out that road connection too. Do we know how long that, that's likely to take then? Because sometimes it can be a very long ladder. It doesn't matter if your foot's on the bottom, does it? Well, Matt, everything starts with that first step. I've been, I mean, I've been very honest with my constituents in, in Walton and in Glastonbury and beyond that uh, the, the priority for the region has to be the 303 and 358. And I think people accept that. Uh, the money for that, in any case, is already committed. Um, so I've been saying to people that I suspect this is probably a sort of 10-year journey. Uh, and we're at the end of the first year in that. So my hope is that we can see significant improvements to that road in from the Bridgewater North junction of the M5 to Mendip um, within another nine years or so. Thus far, um, mission accomplished in so much as Somerset County Council, Mendip District Council are full square behind it. The local enterprise partnership is full square behind it. And now we've got the endorsement of the roads minister as well. So that's a pretty encouraging uh, place to be at the end of that first year of campaigning. The Conservative MP for Wells, James Heapy, talking to me earlier about his meeting with the Roads Minister, John Hayes.